Well, new tonight, the Anamosa community is rallying around two families dealing with winter tragedies. Yeah, it's been quite a start to the year in Jones County, that's for sure, Elizabeth. First of all, as we told you earlier, 13-year-old Adam McWhorter. Adam, unfortunately, died in a sledding accident. And now, a 16-year-old, Lucas Siglin, he is in hospital, seriously injured in a snowboarding mishap. He is still in the ICU at University of Iowa Healthcare in Iowa City, and that's where KWW reporter Daniel Perot earlier today caught up with Lucas's family to talk about how he is doing and all the community support they've been receiving. Snowboarding on our property and, um, and landed horribly wrong. Lucas Siglin landed directly on his neck on January 9th in Anamosa. He laid there uh, for what we figure about an hour and a half. His mom, Christy, found him and they rushed him to UIHC. He's already had two surgeries. There's several screws and he's got the, the rods in the back of his neck. So essentially they've, they've fused him and they have made his neck solid. There's no guarantee he'll ever walk again. He did have a little bit of feeling, I think, in his toes last night. So we're hopeful. I think things are coming back slowly, um, very slowly. While Lucas continues to recover here in the ICU, the Anamosa community has wrapped their arms around his family, doing whatever they can to support them. One way is by selling t-shirts and bumper stickers like this one that says, Stand with Siglin. It's been amazingly overwhelming. There's a generic Raiders Strong shirt, then one that pays tribute to each of the boys. There's so many things that are, that the community is doing that really is touching Lucas. There's also a hog fundraiser raffle and a 48-hour virtual auction that runs from Sunday to Tuesday, featuring items donated by the community. He's growing up really fast these last couple weeks, and it's really showing him uh, the appreciation of people that love him. On Thursday, Lucas celebrated his 16th birthday in the ICU. The day started out pretty rough. Presents and handwritten personalized birthday cards have lifted his spirit and given him hope, and so have his friends. For Lucas, the outpouring of love and support has been overwhelming. Whatever it looks like, it'll be a long road to recovery for Lucas, and he'll need all the support he can get to make it through. In Iowa City, Daniel Perot, News 7, KWWL. I wish him the best, and you can find links to the ways the Anamosa community is working to try to support both the McWhorter and Siglin families right now on our website, kwwl.com.